Hey, Cuss, where are you going? I gotta go to marching band. Wait, really? They're still making you do that even during COVID? That's crazy. Bro, I like, I just hate marching band, man. I just don't want to do it right now. It sucks. Man, if I were you, I'd just quit, man. It's not worth it. So what you guys have to understand about marching band, the reason why I never did it is, because, is for a number of reasons. Number one, um, I never thought that marching band would get me to where I wanted to be as a trombone player or as a musician. Um, I felt like, you know, it's a lot of loud playing. It's a lot of playing that's not really traditional. Marching band style of playing doesn't really focus on technique. It also doesn't really focus on sound and beauty of playing. It's a lot of just loud noise and just trying to play loud, which is fine, but it has its place. But it's not the style of playing and the kind of music that I grew up listening to. So I, I never really wanted to, to pursue marching band. Now, you can say that marching band is in some hip hop music in a way. They have marching bands perform halftime shows for like Beyonce and Bruno Mars and things like that. Once again, this is not me discrediting marching bands whatsoever. I, I do think that there's a time and place for marching bands. I think that marching bands have their place and I think that they should exist. I think marching bands are dope. You know, I think there's nothing more badass than when a marching band walks down um, and starts playing that their, their little drum groove. You get a great feeling inside when you when you see a marching band. It's like a it's like a power thing that like you you, know, you see the marching band, whether you're in Disney World or whether you're um, out and about. Even when I came to Berkeley for orientation week, there was a marching band that came through um, Berkeley. And it was just like the feeling I got when I was there, it was just like, it was lit. Um, there's some marching bands in New Orleans. There are marching bands uh, that, that play at all different types of parades, the, the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Once again, this is not me discrediting marching bands at all, but I wanted to make this video to spread some awareness. So what you guys gotta figure out is, why are you doing marching band? Are you doing marching band because somebody told you to do it? Are you doing marching band because you think that it's the best way to get your playing better? Are you doing marching band because you think that you're gonna have a career doing marching band? Are you doing marching bands because you like marching band? Like you have to figure out like what, why you're doing it. I think only the last reason's valid. If you're doing marching band because somebody told you to do it, you have to rethink and you have to ask yourself what you want. Don't listen to a teacher or somebody like a parent or somebody or even a friend who's saying, oh, like do marching band because like the cool kids do marching band. No, 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 no. You do what you want to do, okay? That, that's, that's the framework of everything of being successful is just doing what you want to do and not doing what somebody else wants you to do. So if, if you're doing it for that reason, you got to reconsider. I think if you really want to do marching band, do marching band. I'm not making this video to shit on people who are doing marching band. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't do marching band. If you want to do marching band, do marching band. My thing is, if you're doing marching band because you think it's going to benefit your trombone playing, I think you're making a fundamental mistake. Because the reason is, it's not. <laughs> like, that's the short answer. It's not going to help your playing, you know? It's actually going to develop a lot of bad habits, which is why I'm making this video. This whole thing comes down to the way that you're playing, the way that you're practicing, and repetition, right? So, if you're practicing all the time playing, with feel, playing with soul, playing with emotion, playing long tones and, lo and long notes, playing ballads, and playing things that are really gonna help your sound, that's the kind of playing that is gonna take you to the next level. If you're practicing only playing loud, only playing obnoxious, only playing crazy, and really just not focusing on like the real fundamentals of trombone playing or any instrument for that matter, and you're only focusing on just loud, crass, crazy kind of playing, it's not gonna help you down the road. My school, like we had one of the top marching bands in the country, King Philip High School, you can look us up, check it out. King Philip Marching Band, they were nasty, right? I never did it, but I had, I had a ton of respect for their work, their work ethic and everything that they've done. Now, I will say this, when it came to jazz band, we had a lot of kids who did both. We had a lot of kids who did marching band and they, did, they also did jazz band. And what I found was our jazz band was great as well. We made a couple of big competitions and whatnot with our jazz band. But I found that, you know, when, when I was comparing our jazz band to other jazz bands, our jazz band played like a marching band jazz band. You know, very loud, very aggressive, not really focusing on feel and sound and, 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 and style, but focusing more on loud and, and just trying to play loud and high, which is what you do in marching band, which is fine. But I think when you try to, like if you're playing marching band, you think it's gonna help your jazz playing. 
I mean, unless you're a lead player and you think it's going to help your chops, I wouldn't do it. You know, I think I think there are other things that you could do. Join a combo or join playing a small group or play a different genre, play R&B, play some hip hop, you know, add in some some smooth different types of genres that you could play that are going to actually help your playing. The other reason why I don't think people should do marching band is because I don't think people realize how much time, you know, you put into that. You know, when you're in high school, you have a lot of time. When you when you get to college, it goes down a little bit, you know, and then the older you get, the more responsibilities you have. I actually just graduated college, so I'm entering the real world. But what you guys have to understand is that even in college, I had very li- limited time because of all the stuff I had to do for college. On top of that, all the stuff I'm, I'm doing with, with, with the videos, uh, my now sponsorship with P-Bone, and everything else that I do to stay in shape, um, and, and countless other things that I'm doing on the side. So like, you have very limited time during the day. When you're in high school, you kind of have, besides school, you pretty much, when you get home after school, unless you're doing a sport or something else, you have plenty of time. What I think is stupid is kids say, oh, I'm gonna go do marching band, and people don't realize how much time and effort that is. Now, every school is different, but at least from my high school, Um, These kids were out there like every night for like four to five hours, you know, they would have practice marching band practice for like four to five hours, which is completely unnecessary. I mean, don't get me wrong. Our marching band was great. They have huge trophies in the when you walk in the entrance of our school because our marching band was that good. And uh, they won a ton of competitions and they got to go to New York and play at MetLife Stadium and do all those amazing things. But at the same time, I don't think people realize how much time that is. And if you're not super passionate about that, don't waste your time doing something that you're not passionate about. Go do something else. And if you're trying to make your trombone playing better, don't sit around and go to these rehearsals for five hours. Instead, do something that's gonna actually help your playing. You know what I'm saying? My number one issue is there's a lot of people out there, and maybe you who's watching this feels the same way. There's a lot of people out there who really like playing music. They really like creating music. They really want to make music. They want to do a lot of things in the music niche. They want to pursue music and they want to cut albums. They want to drop songs. They want to do all these different things, right? There's really nothing that comes out of marching band. There's no end goal for marching band. You're not going to like go pro marching band. I mean, maybe you could play in like a really good marching band like when you get older, but it's not anything individual. It's like a team effort. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there are marching bands out there that pay people well to plan that. Like once again, if that's what you want to do, then do it. But I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people nowadays want to do something for themselves. And if you want to do something for yourself, whether it's pursue your own music, any genre, I think you're making a huge mistake doing marching band. Um, you know, I think there's there's other things that you could do in high school that are gonna help you. The big problem is that trombone players don't understand the basic fundamentals of playing smooth and clean and, and, and beautiful. I think that's a big misconception. Everybody thinks that trombone, whenever people think of trombone, they think of loud, high, and crass, right? That's the problem. So why, if you're a trombone player, would you say, okay, everybody thinks of trombone players as high, loud, and crass, So I'm gonna go do exactly what people think a trombone player is gonna play. High, loud, and crass. Why wouldn't you instead play something like jazz or play something like classical or do something in high school if you're gonna participate in an extracurricular activity, like maybe do jazz combo, something like that that's gonna help your overall playing. You know, I've just never liked how band directors try to like make people feel if they mess up a note in marching band or how they try to put people down. They, they tell people to do push-ups and stuff if they don't do shit right. Like I've heard a bunch of things, but it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is not a sport. You know, it is competitive. Don't, don't get it twisted, it is competitive. And we'll have conversations about, you know, how to be a successful trombone player in another video. But I just wanted to get this off my chest today. I had to make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. Also, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't be afraid, hit that follow button. I'll see you guys in the next video.